everyone, welcome back to my channel for another spring cleaning video. In today's video, I am cleaning and organizing our little mud room. You guys have seen this mud room in other cleaning videos before and it is totally not functional and it is just driving me absolutely crazy. As you guys can see, there is just so much stuff in this tiny little space and as a family of five, soon to be six, this space is just not working for us right now but it's really not in our budget or in our time span to redo this all right now. So I'm just gonna try and declutter it as best as I can, clean it, and hopefully we can work with this for the spring and summertime, having less stuff in here, and maybe we'll be able to do something to better the space for the fall and winter. I am starting off by decluttering the space before I clean it and reorganize it. I'm just taking off all of our jackets right now that we're not wearing. My husband has a ton of jackets and he actually uses most of them during the winter time. But now that it's getting a lot warmer outside and it's not freezing anymore, he can totally downsize and we'll put these away. I, on the other hand, only have one jacket because I am super pregnant right now and no other jackets fit. So I only have my current winter maternity one up here right now. And I also have my spring jacket that I'll be able to wear once little girl is born. But right now it does not zip up <laughs> to say the least. I'm also gonna be taking off all of my winter boots. Now, most of these I have not even worn in the past couple months because of swelling and pregnancy weight gain and all of that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna pull all of these out as well as some of our shoes, which this just looks like a total mess, but not having a door on the space and having a young toddler, he sometimes pulls, th pulls things off and then doesn't put them back, obviously. So I'm just gonna quickly clear everything out of the space so I can get down on my hands and knees and clean it all up. As you can see, it is so gross and dirty. It has accumulated so much dirt and rocks over the past couple months. I do clean this more than just seasonally, but I don't actually pull everything out all the time and clean it, but I do definitely organize the space. As you can see up top here, we just have so much stuff, cans of paint, tools, just stuff that really doesn't belong. This is definitely a catch-all for us and I am so excited to be able to just clean it up and clear it out. Take me away to Neverland What colors fade my disbelief And make me forget my memories Rent a car you can't afford Put on a song that we both know Let your hair out in the wind Put the pedal to the floor Flame your light and take a smoke Put your broken rip off, wafers on Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the time a little bit earlier I'm even getting down on my hands and knees and cleaning all of these baseboards and walls up there's some drips on the walls from God knows what and the baseboards are covered in filth and dust and everything that's been outside all winter long so I'm really taking this time to clean up the space really really well and now that I've completely ripped everything out and cleaned all the space up this is all of the stuff that was in this closet or mudroom whatever you call it Look at how many shoes and boots and jackets and just random things that we have in here. There is just way too much stuff and we probably don't even currently use a fraction of them. My older boys are so, so helpful being almost eight and nine and a half. They are just gems when it comes to helping mommy, especially when I'm pregnant. So right now they're just gonna be taking some of the stuff down to the basement for us. I will be organizing and putting all of that stuff away, washing whatever needs to be washed, but I just wanted to get it out of this main space here and they can take it downstairs. Ryan's actually just giving Easton a bath while we're doing this, so that is super helpful as well. Lose control. 
And after talking to Ryan a few minutes ago, he let me know what other jackets he wouldn't be needing for the rest of the season. So I'm just going to leave two of his jackets out and put the rest away. That way I can wash them, get them dry cleaned, whatever needs to be done. And it also adds a lot of space to here. We do also keep some of our sweaters in here because we don't have a closet in our master right now since we've changed bedrooms and given our little girl our room. So this space is definitely a multi-use space, so we definitely have to make use of it. I also wanted to mention how nice it is to finally be able to pull out their big bulky snowsuits and boots and be able to just put in their spring jackets, baseball caps, and just some lighter clothing. This room is going to look so much less cluttered once it is all done, and I'm just so happy to get to do that. When the lights out All right, so now that it's decluttered, cleaned out, and I've put most of the bigger items back into the closet, I'm just going to sort through all of this stuff that ended up staying here. As you can see, we had so much stuff in there. Some of these things like Easton's boots and shoes are going to go back in the closet, but other things we're going to sort through and organize and put some in the trash. I'm also taking a sip of my Gatorade. I do not drink Gatorade on a daily basis typically, but my doctor did recommend because of my low blood pressure during pregnancy that I drink a Gatorade every single day. So even though I don't particularly enjoy it, this is what I have to do to just feel a little bit better. <laughs> So this is what we're left with after I'm done putting everything back into the closet. So all of the boys winter gear is over there, which I will be washing and bringing downstairs. I'm going to leave their bogs in the closet. We don't typically do rain boots in the spring because they have bogs and they're like a multi-use boot. But as you can see, we've decluttered quite a bit and I do have some stuff to put away right now, but most of it is organized and then I just have my husband's tools up there. So this is the final look out the closet. As you can see, we've downsized quite a bit when it comes to jackets and sweaters and things like that. I just left a few spring ones out, which is really nice. And then I also have my hunter boots because it's pretty wet out. And then my nicer boots on drier days, Ryan's running shoes, and then our slippers and some other shoes as well. And then in the boys' little cubbies, they just have their school bags, spring jackets, hats, and then some running shoes down at the bottom. And then moving over, Ryan has his boots. I also have a little basket with some miscellaneous items in here. And then this top basket is designated for Easton and all of his things, just because they're tiny and they actually fit here quite well. I'm trying to leave the top of this cubby super bare and free of any kind of junk. But I mean, I don't know how long this is gonna last. All right guys, so that sums everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning and organization video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for watching.